Hey guys, Mr. Hood here, and I have a little bit of a problem studying way too much science. I'm not able to make it in the gym to gain muscle. So what I've done is jumped to the laboratory and created my own patented protein powder called Science Muscle Explosion. Not FDA approved. If I, my science is correct here, what this will allow me to do is gain muscle like that. So let's go try it out. <laughs> All right, time to work out. Well, this won't do. All right, now it's time to work out. But I do need a nice cold beverage. Why do you sweat? You're not even doing anything. Ah! What happened? Dude, you just took science too far again. So now it's time to talk a little science on how condensation works. As the ice cubes melt, water forms on the outside of the glass. But the water actually comes from the surrounding air, not from inside of the glass. Condensation is all about turning gases into liquids, which is the opposite of evaporation. Let's break it down with ice brulee. When we add heat to this ice cube, we are making the atoms move faster. And as they move faster, they become further apart. Heated to a certain temperature causes atoms to move fast enough to become water. If we continue to add heat, the atoms in the liquid move even faster and further apart, creating water vapor. Take a look at the air around you. There's tons of water vapor floating around. If we reverse this idea and remove heat to cool the water vapor, we can see that gases turn back into liquids. This is exactly what's happening with the glass. As the ice causes the temperature of the water to cool, the sides of the glass that are touching water vapor in the air cool the atoms in the air. And this causes them to move much slower and condense or come closer together and eventually changing water vapor from a gas to a liquid on the side of the glass. So now you know the science, don't get so mad next time your drink is a little sweaty.